I, I, uh, it's the same budget that the council uh, adopted the tentative budget. We just have to come back after it's been published in the paper twice um, and uh, a vote to make it our final budget. Um, I, I understand that Mr. Brewer had an issue with the budget. Um, he put in the paper that we had secret meetings, budget meetings, and the, the council was not included. Um, the council, I, we had two budget meetings. The council was included on that. All the other things, I sat right here until 7 o'clock in the evening working on the budget. Okay. Yeah, what he doesn't understand, because he's not involved as a councilman, he doesn't do a job as a councilman. What, what he doesn't know is the means Mr. Gallego, Mr. Romero, myself, and you, of course, and Gina, all the you know, other department heads, have spent with the commission with the commissioners doing this. We just don't do a budget. There's time that's got to be spent. People don't get involved. They don't know what's going on, and they start, you know, talking what they don't know. <coughs> and that's what's been going. On. So it's not just when the meetings. It's got to be discussed with the commissioners. So the, the public, yeah, the public needs to know that. The council was involved with this. We had meetings, they were able to ask questions, make comments, they were whatever, whatever. Um, so th the council was involved. So I, this is the public meeting for the... I'll tell meeting. you one thing, that stuff in the paper is unreadable. I got a 20 power, 20 power magnifying glass to be able to read it. So you don't need to tell them to do something better not readable. It's, it's not worth reading. Well, it, if, <laughs> to think, if you want to think, people think favorably or unfavorably, it's got to be clear of what we're looking at. Okay, you know, we're here to discuss the budget. Just discuss, that's another thing, too. I, oh. I want to keep the meetings, you know, orderly with the public and council, too. We, you know, that's my job. You got to understand, I run the meetings and I was appointed by the council to do that. So, you know, we're going to try to keep to the subject. And, but thanks for the comment. I mean, if you might direct that to the paper. We don't publish it. Uh, Mr. Sloan, I do have a, a budget here that may be a little bit larger. So if you want to read it, you're welcome yeah. to do so. Do you I tell mean, them how big to put it in, Patsy? No. Oh, so you don't know? No. no. Okay. They, they put it in, and, you know, I would assume they put it in that way to help to save the town money because we have to pay for yeah. the space. Well, exactly. You know, I mean, we have meetings here. Everything's discussed in the open. And mo most of you know that come here, everything's right there for you to view. You know, most of the time, if if you come to town, Patsy's busy. We have business to, to do. And, we you know, we can't stop and it costs money to stop our business here in town. Every time I come over here to look at public records, Patsy gives me a hard time. Okay. She just oh, her voice oh, to me and oh. everything. Every time I come to see Mr. Mayor, Mr. Mayor, let me just add to this. She came one time. Uh, this, this is why, sorry, McIntosh, even that came out of his office, asked what's going on. Yes. I said, I just want to see public uh, records and patches here. Okay, but Mr. Mayor, up. may I have the floor just for yeah, a minute? Okay, uh, she came in and she tells me, I want to see the books. Uh, I said, <laughs> the books? What books? The books. I said, I have a lot of books. What is it that you want to see? The books. I said, can you tell me more specific what you want? Huff funds. I said, oh. I said, no, we don't have huff funds. I said, we have her. It's the same difference, same thing. I said, no, it isn't the same thing. You said huff and we have her. So she wanted to see the budget, the audits. She got to see that's the audit. I tell you, that's the way I say it. You say it your way. Right. I say it hard for okay. her. It doesn't matter. I told her, you know what I'm asking. But you know, we have that budget. I did not ask, if you want to come, I come and ask her, like, let me finish. I came in and I filed, it. I filed out that paper they gave me there to uh, see what I want to see. And I told her, when she asked me what I wanted to see, she comes out of the big old box, all kinds of. I had told her the, the, two, the 211 audit. And then I wanted to see some of the meetings and minutes and memos. 
Well, she bought a big old box out of files from 205 up to 2010, didn't even have the 2011 in there. I looked through those, and then I told Patsy, I only asked you for one, and you didn't even give me that one. That's all I told She's the lying. And that's what I mean. We can't, we can't you know, call each other and not have to respect each other. Well, okay, uh, but you know but I come in here respectable. It's okay. her that, that starts it up. And, and the thing is, if Patsy has to bring the cost money for her to stop doing business. The town has to conduct a lot of business. There's a, you know, that's why we hired her. When you come in, there's a fee for you. Yeah, everything's viewable. But if you want, you can view anything. If you want to hire one of our girls, you pay them. She refused to let me use my camera too, and that, and I can use my camera. She refused. She said me, but, told me absolutely not yeah, to take you, pictures. You can film everything, but like I said, for them to get you the material to film it, you need to pay. We have uh, rules for that. You know, I'm pretty sure she. To see public records, I thought we you could we could look at the book. But you can't. You can't go there and view public. You're taking them away from our, our jobs. You know, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Okay. We, we, you know, okay. And I will add, add, she was not willing to pay any of the fees. Okay. That's, so that's the main thing. You have to pay. We have fees. You have to pay. Yeah. Well, yeah. I live on a fixed income. I'm one of the persons that live here on Social Security and a fixed income, and that's why I'm here fighting for my that. To well, that's what I was going to tell you. To make sure we get a fair shake. Okay. Fair shake. There's your budget right there. You can take a picture of it. You can. You want to take that home? I'll give you my budget. I don't care. I, you know, I get a copy. It's not going to cost you nothing, but ask for it. Well, I have. Okay. Well, there it is. I have. There's Mr. Sloan's got the budget right there. If you have any questions, look at it and ask questions. That's what we're here for. To help you on the budget. Did you have any questions on the... No, we're here. Ask us about the Hurt Fund. What, 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 yeah, what did you spend? Where did all that money go that was spent from her? And, and uh, you know, and who authorized all the loans? Who okay. applied for them? Who signed for the loans? No, there's no loans. There's well, no, there the town has funds or like, whatever. The town of funds or loans. Yeah, Alice, let me tell you. The town of Mammoth has never had a loan. Never applied for a loan. But they're funds, right? No, they're not funds then? What, what, what is her then? Don't you borrow okay, from let me, them? Let me ask you how, how the food. No. I'm, 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 we're going to, you know, I wanted last meeting with the brewers. I asked yeah, you. but the meeting wasn't in, uh, it wasn't there. It was it after the meeting. already, okay, and no. I didn't want to answer any questions okay. off the I want I'm, them on I'll, the I'll explain to you how the HER fund, and how we got in trouble, okay? All right, that's okay. The HER fund works, there's a fund. We get so much money each month for the HER fund. Okay, if what happened in that order, like six hundred some thousand dollars in 2010? Yes. 2010. The money's there, but what happened... Previous clerks, when Patsy left in 2007, previous clerks, instead of using that money to fix sidewalks, streets, anything that has to do with the streets, you buy equipment with it, you can, but you have to use it for streets. If it's not used for streets, that's what happened. They didn't use it for streets. They used it for other funds. So yeah, they went use it for the cemetery and the sewer, which, there you go, there. which is in violation. Exactly. Because you cannot use that. Exactly. So that's, and and they that kept doing that, you see. Well, they, they kept doing that. So that's how the, the 600000 came into account. Okay. So now this council, since we came here, we've been almost two years, we have approximately paid half, like 300000 by, you see all the, you can see around town everything that's been done to the streets, sidewalks, curbing. Patching and it's still being back up. Background. Back back we bought a couple yeah. years ago. All that is her money going in there, which they accredited to that six hundred thousand being back on the fund. Uh, how come Kino is already here? Kino hasn't even been fixed yet. How many yeah. could put speed pumps on there or pumps or whatever when when it's a flood zone? It's not even a I'm street. Swear. A Kino, it's it's a flood. When it rains, it's a flood. Well, let me tell you, but. Those, that that goes into the herd fund too because it's for streets. Yeah. But we're concerned about safety of the kids that play down there. Okay. That's why that. I'm the, talking about Kino up here where you want to put more speed bumps. We, we, we are because yeah. the residents are concerned about the kids' safety. We discussed that in a meeting already. Yeah, I know. Okay. I've so, seen it on the, on but the I video. But I mean, and, and that's going to be part of the herd fund because anytime we work on a street, it's the herd funds. That's how it works. But are you going to put council, speed bumps on a, on a street that's been closed over a year? No, oh, it's no. not going on there. It's not going on there. Uh -huh. 
Oh, you're going to put it up. Uh, it's going to be a, a, a little higher? A little bit higher, yeah. Exactly. But that's a main street, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. It's a main street. But we have a lot of people. There's a little meeting. But anyway, all that's accredited to the HERF fund. Was it 1st, 2nd, and 3rd Street? Yeah, 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, yeah. and 4th, maybe possibly. So that's how it works. And this council has done the, and the, our clerk has done the, the right thing with the HERF fund. So we've been accredited, and it's going to come out with, we have, uh, they had an audit here. And when and are you guys going to fix that street? Well, when we get more funds. We like to, we love to fix it. We like to put new payment, do anything we can. But you know we can only do so much with a with a fund and with a budget. Well, you know I had we had a good street over there at Clark where I lived, and then two years ago, instead of uh, sweeping it, they came and graded it, and now there's holes all over our street under on uh, on Clark Street. They graded it instead of sweeping it and tore up all the all the paint. There's a big hole in front of my yard now. Well, anyway, that's the way the, uh, her fund works. And that's what happened in between that period when we ended up voting. Did you understand that, Alex? Yeah, I understand okay. that. Okay, you know. But and you guys can't borrow from her? No, we don't. In we 2011, wasn't there a letter from the county, uh, the, from the county uh, 2012, for April 2012, for you guys to quit borrowing from her, to cease borrowing from her and, uh, and uh, Pinal County half cent mile funds? Well, you don't I borrow from the fund. The you use it to stop using the the her funds for that, like for like cemetery, whatever they were using it for. It wasn't used for the streets. Well, who was using it for all? Well, we had other clerks. That's why this council. The first thing we did when we came into office, we hired a new clerk. If you recall, that's the first thing we did. We hired a new clerk, and we've been work, working our way at all that. Some of us have only been here since 2000. Oh, yeah. How can we have all those blank outs on the on the on the budget? On the budget. Thank Sorry. You. Yeah. Show me. There's a budget right there. Show, show us. That's in the newspaper. This mm -hmm. one probably don't have it. I don't know. I haven't looked at it. Well, you know, you have to ask. Uh, he works for the newspaper. That's and what you know. You have to discuss that afterward because we're just discussing the budget. Here. But Mr. Hernandez, can probably, you can talk to him and he can probably explain to you why. Did you do that? Yeah. Oh, those are just categories that have nothing in them. Well, yeah, it would have like a retirement fund and then it would all be blank. It would be all blacked out, all yeah. the numbers. Well, it should be there. Go ahead you and look know, at and, um, They were all blacked out and no. all the stuff I was looking at that you could see. Well, that's why we have these public hearings, too. That's one of the reasons, so you can ask questions, and if it's blacked out, you can see our budget right there, and ask questions. Yeah, there, um, it's just blank. I'll let you see here so you'll know what she's talking about. Did you put those in there? No, I did not. Well, you see what I mean there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. they, have, they have nothing to do with their budget. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if anybody wanted to add all those figures up, they all been, they're all going to come out anyway. Mm -hmm. So that, those black those blackouts you didn't put in there? No. So that's just something for the people who complain more? Well, that's, purposely that's done, why I'm asking. Probably purposely done. You know, you, know how the, you know how the paper is, just so they can get come back on that. And they complain about it. We need to complain to the paper. We can't believe it. Well, I brought it to your attention because I saw it in the paper. And that's why I'm inquiring well, about it. <laughs> it's not our paper. It's not our paper. We're just here to do Well, I know that you guys put the information in there. Yeah, but we don't um, put it. But when you put in the Patsy, do you have it with you? She's got it right there. Mm -hmm. Is it, are they blanks there, uh, Ellis? Well, not on this one, but I'm just saying in the paper it came out. That's what I'm saying. Well, like, We're just you, trying to tell you that we didn't put them there. Well, not I heard, anything. I heard, I know, and Thank I'm you. just telling you <laughs> what you. I said. Oh yeah, like this, see? There was black house like this. It's not, it's gray. It's gray. It's gray. But it just comes out black in there. Yeah, we, we can't answer that one because, you know, we, we don't, it's, we don't know the paper, we don't print, we don't do anything. 
But this is your paper, right? Yes. But those are gray. They print out darker than they are, but on the computer they're gray. Because it says this amounts for future debt, retirement, and all that. It's all blanked out. Uh, you guys don't have that then? Is that what that means? No, I didn't have figures for those. Uh, permanent funds, you know, so that does only has one. You know, because I can't come down here and, and just look at the books. Did you know you have to study the books? You know? Yeah. You know that anything you, you want to ask, read and then look anything up you want to ask about the budget, that's, that's it the doesn't. Budget. You can't do, look at the uh, a thing in just a little while because there's yeah. a lot of to it. Yeah. So do all of these add up, Patsy? If you were to add these, this column down, down, it would add up. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing hidden in. In there. fact, in fact, I no no. In fact, I will tell you that it's a spreadsheet that I go on the computer and it's on the Auditor General's website. I enter all of those figures and it calculates itself. But if we add those, I can see that. And in fact, I don't even enter on that page. I enter on different pages and it just transfers it to there. suggested that some of it had been paid down when they did the audit. Um, I spoke with them today and uh, they're waiting for, uh, they're, what they're wanting us to do is write uh, a manual on the usage of, the month of uh, her funds, uh, kind of a guidance. And um, they're waiting for that and then they'll finish their report. They want us to write it? Why us isn't because it we it's our it would be our policy. It would policy. be our policy. Uh, new That's policy. why I was instructing Dave to do an audit on each street. Like if it needs to be as part of the her funds. The Apache, if it needs to finish the sidewalk, curbing, all that. So in other words, then really so you haven't mm -hmm. been making payments for this six hundred thousand no. dollars. No, what what has happened is we get um, the urban revenue sharing. That goes into the general fund. So what has happened is um, one of the girls on the staff, when that money comes in, she put it under highway user fund. So we expended that money plus highway user fund, and because we did that, whatever amount that we took from the urban revenue sharing helped to pay back some of the old money. So it was, um, we didn't deliberately do it, but I did have $25,000 put in a, a savings account for, for the highway user fund. Um, and uh, when I closed out the Bank of the West accounts, everything just went into one account. So I have not reopened that account yet. So the, we're paying it down. It's just a gradual thing. And, and you know, if you look up here, um, if, any, if you remember when the auditor was here, he, he told us that it started about 2006, the, the using highway user fund. And before you go on, I think that's the year Patsy quit in 2000. Yes. I, Patsy quit in 2006, and then we came back the first thing this council did when we got elected in May 2012, we, re we got Patsy to come back and we started everything again. And since then, we've been paying back all the HERF fund, you know, going like we should be. So 2006 is when it started. Over a period of the six years, there was $600,000 that had come in that had not been spent specifically for the purpose of highway user fund, which is streets, equipment, uh, we we can pay uh, payroll out of that. We can do a lot of different things, but it only pertains to the streets and sidewalks, that type of thing. 
if we, uh, for instance, shovels and rakes, we can charge that off to the highway user fund as well. Um, you have to be very careful. I believe one of the things that the auditor said in his audit report was um, the town gave turkeys or hams one year for, for Christmas to the employees and a portion of that was charged to the highway user fund. That's not acceptable. That is not acceptable at all. It has to be specifically for the streets. You can't use any benefits. But the pizza wasn't used for the, for the county drugs. <laughs> it was used for library, right? The library, but I also have to say there was a pizza party at the beginning of the pool okay, season. That's cool. Okay, that's and what it was. That's what it was. Pablo asked if he could get $5 pizzas for the opening night for team night. And I said, sure. So they, they got pizzas that night. I don't think it came to uh, maybe 60 bucks or so. But yeah, that was, I, I kind of get the feeling that uh, Mr. Brewer and uh, Mr. Anthony are really kind of stuck on the Lego thing, so. Oh yeah, what is it, Legos, right? <laughs> yeah, Legos. Legos ordered yeah. on town? Legos were ordered on, with the town's credit card. And the credit card, the name on the credit card was Craig Williams. Mm -hmm. So the that town's was... credit card was in his name at the time. So it was ordered by Diana Sterling mm -hmm. because it, it went with some of her programs that she was um, putting on in the library. So my, I have to say my grandson loves Legos, <laughs> but they didn't go to my house. <laughs> But yes, that was uh, one of the things that um, I, I saw when I came on and I, call, I, I called everybody I knew and Diana finally said, oh, no, those are mine, those are mine. It was for a program I had in the and library. that was before you came. It was, it was, yes. So anyway, um, we, um, one of the things that I, I wanted to touch bases on as well was uh, Mr. Brewer's article said uh, we were waiting for the 2013 audit, which is not true. We're, a, we're waiting for the 11-12 audit. <coughs> Excuse me, and that's the audit before I came on. Um, and we, the auditors, I have been in touch with the auditors. I've been in touch with the Auditor General's office. I have been touch, in touch with a lot of people over this. It, <coughs> it appears that we will have to um, write a letter to, our auditors will have to write a letter to the Auditor General's office explaining that the situation, that there was a turnover in administration and some of the, the documents needed to complete the audit were, are not found. I can't find them. And that's the staff, that's yes, the staff can. cannot find them. Yeah, We've gone through boxes and yeah. file cabinets. Yeah, some people don't know what's going on. Obviously. Yeah. yeah. They're yeah. here, but they don't know what's going so, on. So, anyway, what, what hmm. we're looking at is just asking for an incomplete audit for that year. So we can start with the 12, 13 and move forward. That is the year that I was here, and I, I'm probably going to be leaving the town, but I really would like to stay on long enough for my audits to get done so that you people will know that I haven't taken one dime from this town and nothing has been spent illegally. Well, I'd like to just add uh, or say and comment on this that when we ran for election after that last recall, one of the things that we really said to the people is we wanted transparency. And, you know, you as a town clerk, you're responsible to let all seven of us know what's going on. If you're having meetings, but we haven't been told that if there's a meeting, then we can't attend the meetings. I'm not having meetings. No, but I'm saying like when you said that you got together with a commissioner, well, if I'm not a commissioner, then I'm not invited. I don't know about the meeting. So I think when you're saying, well, if you guys, um, you're not doing your job, well, if I knew I would come down here, I just well, have to be told. It. That's true, but I, that also brings me to something else. There were some meetings called up at the community center, and you called them. You had David and his commissioner at one meeting. You had Marty, his commissioner, at another meeting. And what did you discuss? Me. 
You wanted the goods on me so you could get rid of me. That's so, uh, oh. Mayor, this is totally out of point of order. She's not no. even. No, well, you, you brought it up. You, no, I Yeah, here. you did. So okay. I talked about transparency. Okay. Transparency will, you know, she'll tell you what. With we, the town but business. Let me, let me get back. Town businesses, I spend a lot of time here. I spend days here. Spend out days out yeah, of time. Yeah, you've been here for 24 years, yeah. 20 some 24, years. Yeah, yeah you and spend still, a lot of time here. A lot of time. No, no a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Sure do. Yeah. And I think you used to spend a lot of time here too, friends. I did because I was willing yeah, to help exactly. the town. That's you, why I ran well, for election. Started, yeah. Well, we I started. Yeah. Well, we started. You know what's no, going no, on. And on I'm still board. willing. Yeah. And the and yeah. she cannot speak. She doesn't know the t the order of speaking. If she does not have the floor, she cannot speak. Okay. So we, you know, what I'm talking about meetings. It's not formal meetings. It's meeting. You know, like I'll go talk to Dave. What's going on? Talk to the commissioner. Hey, let's go see what's going on. You know, if I see you, you know, you're welcome. I, I'm not going to keep here, just a councilman like us, but if you're not here, and then I'll leave and maybe come back when I can, that's all it is. Juan spends a lot of time with the police department. And, you know, if I can, I'll touch base with him, I'll touch base if I can. And th that's the way it goes. And Patsy spends, I spend time with Patsy to see what's going on because I'm her commissioner. And Gina, I talk to Gina about the seniors, you know, because she's a commissioner. And planning and zoning, you know, there's a lot of work. You know, you've been there. You, there's a lot of work. And you know, sometimes we we can't. Call, I, I don't. A lot of times I don't call Chapo. I go to his house. He's busy, right, Chapo? And we talk. And we have plans. And you, there's a lot of business here. You know, more than uh, we're giving credit. A lot of business. People, you know, we get criticized here, but the guys criticizing has no idea how to, what it takes to run a town, much less a department. You, you know, because you've been commissioner, you've been around, and you know it takes a lot of time. And that's the way it goes, you know, I come here and Chapo comes here, want, you know, come here and, and, and see what's going on. Maybe if the meeting to run by Robert Rules of Order and everybody... I just, you know, okay, uh, you don't speak. have the floor, okay? I, I want to tell you, I, I run an order meeting, Joe, and if you keep going on out of a uh, turn, you're, you're not gonna, you know, I'm going to have to ask you to leave, okay? And that's what we were just talking before. You weren't here, you were absent, but... We're going to try to run an orderly meeting. That's my job. I was appointed by council to do that as a, as a mayor. And that's all I ask, is be orderly. If you ask me for it, I'll give you the floor, you know. And the same thing up in front. I did not hear anybody here asking okay. for the floor when you gave it to me. Francis, Francis just asked me for it. I just gave Francis the floor. That's what I'm talking to. And, and, you know, so it takes a lot of time. It just, but, you know, you're welcome just like anybody else. Come here and, you know, for go around. You want to know, we'll go and we'll see. We'll show you. We're not keeping anything from nobody. Mr. Mayor, if there's no more comments or questions from uh, the audience, we should move on. We have a 6.30 meeting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do we have any more questions? I, well, I didn't, yeah. So, I uh, looked at the state law and the purchase of that building next door to um, Circle K uh, should have been put up in front of the voters and bought with bonds. Florence, the city council of Florence did a similar thing and got herself in trouble because the city council decided to buy something without approval of the okay. orders. It's not paid for, okay, so is it? Well, there's money being paid. put in on it. Yeah, oh yeah, but it's not paid for, so you know. Well, you need to be aware that there is a law covering okay. that. Yeah, th yeah, I appreciate your your advice on, you know, legal, but, you know, we can't accept it because we're not an attorney, but I appreciate it, Mr. Schultz. And anyway, you know, we talk, we asked about the budget. That's what, if there's no more questions of the budget, I'd like to close the meeting so we can continue on our monthly, uh, our regular meeting, the special meeting. At, that, at this time, I'd like uh, to go. Let me change the thing. We're going to go into a regular special meeting. I have a um, Patsy Larry. Okay. Mr. Mayor, I wanted to address some of the issues that were in the paper. Um, I think that they were unfairly, um, I think they were fictional. Um, if any of you want to, um, to ask Ms. Uh, Miller about the incident in the library and also Ms. Theobald, they would also tell you what's there. 
I did not curse. I did not yell. I did not use the F word. I did not do any of that stuff. So all of that is just fictional. Also, um, the Lego issue, we talked about that. The Legos were purchased prior to me. The meals, if you see up there, uh, Diana Sterling purchased meals for some of her workshops. We also, when we have um, um, out of town business, we buy meals. Um, Francis has been there on two or three of them. The town has bought meals. Uh, she has also traveled to Payson and turned in her expenses for the meals and we reimbursed her. Um, and I think at the time we reimbursed you for your for your husband or boyfriend's meal and then you reimbursed the town a few days later. So anyway, uh, we did, we do have a purpose to purchase meals. Um, the um, charges on the credit card, they're not hidden. Uh, Mr. Brewer, when he asked for the credit card statements, that's exactly what he got. He did not ask for backup information. And maybe if he had asked for the backup information, he would have realized what these things were being used for. Um, the, um, I, I touched on the meetings that, that Francis has had to discuss me. Um, at the November 21st, 2013 meeting, uh, <coughs> Ms. Uh, Wickham mentioned that she had spent hours going through our uh, financial statement with some auditors. And the, and, whoa, voila, $60,000 reappeared. Well, Francis, you know and I know that $60,000 was never missing because it doesn't just reappear. So, um, I, I didn't appreciate that either. At the uh, same meeting, Ms. Wickham says, I just found out that the seniors rented the senior citizen, the community center, and I just found out that we didn't get half of our deposit back because we left it dirty. Do you remember that? What is this? Did he get his full deposit back? He did. He got it back. So I'm, I'm really sorry to bring up all of these old issues, but it seems as though you people are not leaving me alone to do my job, especially you, Mr. Brewer. Mr. Brewer, you had your son come in and question me, and uh, you started some issues. Then your son came in and followed up with me. That I didn't appreciate either. But um, then uh, the issue with the election information, I uh, spoke with Mr. Brewer on the phone one day and uh, I told him um, he was getting things all confused, getting me confused, getting the elections department confused, getting the Secretary of State's office upset, they were calling me and um, so, I told him, why don't you just have <clears throat> Mr. Sloan and Mr. Jones come in and talk to me your, themselves instead of me giving you information and you going down and relaying the information to them. After all, I told him, everybody knows how you get things screwed up. So, he did it again. He, uh, he tells me, he comes for the recall petitions, or the papers, nomination petitions, and he says, we don't have to name our opponent in the recall. I said, you do, you do need to name your opponent. And he says, no, nope, I didn't. I said, you have to name it. Well, he took the petitions, filled them all out, signed, they were signed, brought back in, they didn't name their opponent, and they brought them on the last day. So, Mr. Sloan was kind enough to me to come down and say, okay, I will go out and get my signatures again. Mr. Jones, on the other hand, I called him and he said, well, if I have to recall, if I have to name somebody I'm going to recall, it's going to be that mayor. But I don't know anything about this. Call Joe. Call Joe. 
<laughs> so, anyway, please, I'm asking you guys, I'm trying to lay a foundation here, and I want you to leave me alone, I want you to stop lying about me, and I want you to stop assuming things about me that are not true. So, please, watch what you write in the newspaper. Thank you. Uh, go to new business item five, new business discussion and action of the following. A Southwest Gas Franchise adopt resolution number 2014-03 and approve the franchise agreement. Go to the voters in the upcoming general election in November 4th, 2014. Okay. So in other words, we just need a motion to go ahead and uh, Adopt the resolution, right? And it goes on the ballot. And Southwest Gas is working on putting that on the ballot <coughs> right now. Is there any questions from uh, council? I nope. just had a question, Mayor. On, or, did, uh, he never did state. Did he state that there were the charges were going to go up? Were no, the premiums going to go up? Because that was a question people had. I think he said. Did he say? They, they would be going up 2%. And uh, every bill, every month would be like 2%. Which would be about how much dollars? I, I don't know. 2% of a person's the, bill? 2% uh -huh. of a person's bill? Or yeah. What? Yeah. And um, he thought by the end of the year, we the town would have about uh, $5,000 in that account. So that the purpose of that is if they have to come in and move someone's gas line or something, the money comes out of that reserve account. If if they do not have to move gas lines to repair major things that is not their um, their problem, uh, the, the money comes to the town at the end of the year. Mm -hmm. Statement. Go ahead. When he was here giving his presentation and he asked questions, I tried to question you and you stopped me. It's not the procedure to ask any questions. Even though we put it on his form on the agenda, any questions by the council, he would accept them. I couldn't ask him any questions, so he couldn't get any answers. Simple as that. Okay. That wasn't the first time, Joe. When somebody gives a presentation, I'm going to tell you one last time, too. When they're presenting something, you don't ask questions. You wait till they through with the presentation, and then the questions come after the presentation. He okay. asked for questions. No, it wasn't. He was still giving the presentation and you were interrupting. And my job, like I, I was saying, is to provide order for the council. And uh, you need to, when we have uh, people giving presentations, you need to wait till they finish afterwards and then ask questions. Okay? So I'm taking, he asked for questions. Uh, do you understand, though, what I'm telling you? Yes, I do. Well, that's, all I, that's, all I want, that's, that's all I want you to understand. Go ahead, Gene. Uh, on that note right there, he said, if you have any questions, call me. He gave each and every one of us a card, and that was it. He sat down. That's what I'm talking about. During a presentation, you have to wait till they're finished. After they're finished, then the questions come. You know, you can write them down or try to remember. That's, what, that's all I'm asking you to do. You know, I'm asking you to interrupt. That's rude. You know, you don't interrupt people when they're having a presentation. I wouldn't like that. Go ahead. Mr. Mayor, I just want to tell you that uh, South Coast Gas, Mr. Richter, um, to Richard, told me that uh, of all, no towns have ever voted this down. They, it's, it's, you know, uh, everybody has, um, has been very supportive of it because it just brings in more revenues okay. for the town. It's good for the town. Yeah. With that, um, I'd like to have a motion to go ahead and approve the... I'd like to make a motion. Approved the Southwest Gas Franchise adopted resolution number 2014-03. Okay, I have a motion by Councilman Medina to go ahead and adopt a resolution 2014-03. Do I have a second? Second. Second, second by Councilman Wickham. All in favor of motion? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes. Okay, we'll go to item 5B. Adoption of the final budget, 2014-15. Patsy, go ahead. Um, Mr. Mayor, I failed to put the resolution number on there, but so whoever makes the motion, I would like for them to mention the resolution number 
2014-04. Um, we're ready for, it's been, we've met all of the legal issues with this. We're just ready for the council to approve the final budget, which is exactly the same as the uh, tentative budget that you passed a few weeks ago. Council, have any questions before we have a motion? I have a question. Go ahead. Um, I just wanted to know why I think what Mr. Uh, Sloan was alluding to is why in one of the sections of the newspaper you put the um, employees' salaries. What was the reason it was put in the paper like that? What employees' salaries? Well, it, it had on their, um, yeah. their salaries, you know, everybody's salaries was in there in the paper, in the back and the classifieds. I don't know. Maybe it just got faxed in there by mistake. Yeah, because it was published in there. That's why I was wondering why it was in the newspaper. Yeah. Well, that's part of the. It's part of the. It's, it's a part but of. But it was in the back and the classified though. Yeah. And I think that's why people are asking. You know, why uh, if we are going to pass a tentative budget, they they have a reason. Uh, they have every right to ask. Sure. You know, well, all these amounts. And so my comments, this is what I'm commenting, you ask for comments, mm -hmm. is that we need to let, you know, if the people have questions, let them ask. Yeah. And well, not get offended yeah. or angry sure. or yell when no. they ask questions. Nobody, They're the no. taxpayers. Yeah. Nobody's saying, nobody's getting angry. That's why we had the public meeting before. Hmm. So they could ask questions that we, you know. Hmm. But anyway, it was discussed. Um, and that, when I, like, as I told you, I worked very late sometimes. It's, and it's in the back page somewhere, really little, with everybody's salaries listed in there. And it could have been, it could have been that it just got attached to it, and um, and I, I because I had been working on the salaries and and pay scale as well. Is it in this one? It was in this week's paper. Oh, this week. Were there any changes on that thing? On the wages, on the wages salaries. Did you make any changes? No, sir. There, there's going we to be have that change. changes in the works right now, but uh, yeah. it hasn't been finalized. Okay. Yeah, we, and and I'll present that resolution at the next meeting. Okay. Well, my comment was just that it's good, but it needs to be published big so people can see it because then people are questioning: Are they trying to hide? Why isn't this little tiny thing in the back somewhere? Did they, they offer you different sizes of print? They have not. No. Well, she says she doesn't even know how it got in there. Yeah, same. It's like on a computer, you can change the size of the, of the print and all that, you know, so that it's bigger, more readable. But yeah. if they didn't offer you that, well, it costs more, and they probably know that uh, we well, want. We're on a budget. We're yeah. on a tight budget. <laughs> well, I'm just saying that I think it's good that it's in there because people keep asking how much are yeah. people getting paid. So there it is. Yeah. But it yeah. just needs to be big so people can see it. And that is public information as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that uh, is like a motion to go ahead. The final budget for 2014-15. I make a motion that we adopt uh, the resolution. Uh, adopt the final budget 2014-04 for fiscal year 2014-2015. I have a motion by Councilmember Salo to go ahead and adopt the budget with a resolution number 2014-04 for 2014-2015. And second by Councilman Gallego. All in favor of motion? Aye. All opposed? Aye. Aye. I roll call. Councilwoman Wickham? No. Councilman Barcelo? Yes. Councilman Gallego? Yes. Mayor Barcelo? Yes. Councilman Brewer? No. Vice Mayor Medina? Yes. Motion passes. And item six, adjourn. I'd like to make a motion to adjourn. Yeah, the council, uh, council, motion by council to adjourn. 647. Do you have a second on that? Second. Second for councilman Diego. All in favor of motion? Aye. Aye. Adjourn. Thank you, everybody, for